gal in town is Esther Little Abner, poor Abner. He's a superman and women, he'll give any man a trimming. But when it comes to kissing pretty women, little Abner goes go, go. Daisy May pursues him, he always runs away. Daisy hollers, whoa! But you ought to see him go on stay, hawking day. Little Abner, Abner, he's the biggest catch in dog patch, little Abner, little Abner. He's so handsome and so dashing, gal can't stop their mashing. But when they whisper, watch your secret passion. Delightful's coming over from Pineapple Junction today. I remember his granny. Eee! I ho! There's that lonesome polecat a messing around. Him and that hairless Joe are two of the most woofless bachelors of the year. Well, stir yourself, gal. Pity you ain't married, so we wouldn't be putting up with them worthless critters to get a little work done. But, Granny, I told Look you. Look at you. There you stand with the best years of your life behind you. And nary a high in your hair of a husband as you got. But I ain't interested in marrying just any men, folks. I love you, Lavender. Pretty soon the men, folks, ain't even going to look at you. They desire his young. Gals were spunk. <laughs> I don't care. Only little app. Yes, you would, Granny. Well, it's about time. Don't <laughs> crunch, oh. oh. You clumsy idiot. You trying to knock over our poor little house? I only brung a handful, Granny, and you told me to pile it close to the cabin. I'll stop. Oh. Take them water. If I catch you throwing any more of one again my house, I'll... I'll... Uh... Oh, uh. It's Granny. Well, can me, Brown. Oh, he can't help it. He's stupid. He sure is. And so are you, oh. you big lummox. Oh. It'll be the death of me yet. Oh, if Daisy May could only get that little Abner. Yeah. 
Is you very hungry this morning, son? Not ravenous, mammy, just kind of. Well, in that case, I'll only put on just a few more. Is you have Pappy? Pappy! Is you up? He sure to climb my face. Are you coming, Pansy? Either way, I'm coming. Here, son. Set you. I sure ain't hungry. Someday I ain't gonna wake you up for breakfast. And you're gonna sleep right through all your meals. Oh, one happy day. I reckons we has the finest food in all the world. Pork chops and eggs for breakfast, pork chops and goobers for lunch, and for supper, more pork chops. Even though this ain't Sunday, we Now, might... don't you start getting your mouth set for them preserved carnivores, exclusive ornamental yokum. Little Abner's taking them to the store directly after breakfast. See if you can make out this print. What do you make of it? Nothing. It's good for fire. No, no. Green. Howdy, fellas. Howdy, little Abner. Him read Britain? So does. I can read writing and reading, too. Oh, you're the most intelligent young gentleman in Dauphin. I reckon I is. What him say? Among the distinguished visitors were tickle my bone. That certainly do sound pretty. Will be Dr. James A. Barber. The cell erated is Britain's all mixed up, y'all. I reckon I'll better study it out. T S Y C A. What's that? Maybe it's a woodpecker. Maybe it's skunk hollers. Cicero Grunts. Oh, it's the old little Abner. What are you doing here, boy? Oh, nothing. Just hanging these up for the sheriff. Don't you tell nobody you saw me with these papers. Go fetch yourself, Cicero Grunts. We won't. What him say? $25 reward for Earthquake Magoon. Date or a lie. Better date. For robbing the First State Bank of Jonesville. Sherry. Hmm. And you would really say $25 cash money? That's what it's saying. Oh, that sheriff must think we all idiots. They ain't that much money in the whole of tarnation. Oh, shit. What's the use of talking? Anyone knows you can't go with a skunk holler and come out alive. So our guess is Magoon's safe. Hey! Didn't I told you that paper ain't meant for making fire? Yeah. You'll keep it, little Abner. Maybe you can read again for it. I'll be glad to. Uh, well, I gotta get it going. So long. So long. Many five hours. <laughs> Yo, we. You pay. We make them fire. Ancestors, very clever people. Every 
time you come to visit, and you just have messes of boys hanging around. Messes is right. You never see such messes as some of them boys. Four days you may, she can't get even one. Oh, that's too bad. She's welcome to any of these. I don't think she'd be interested. She's plumb short on just one boy. Where is she? Brown Lodge chasing after that little Agnes. You mean that big, handsome boy? Mm-hmm. I think I'll go down and look up the days in May. That's all, boy. Love. The same. Is you going north to Pineapple Junction? No. Is you maybe headed south for Sweet Patootie Corner? No. Why are you headed for, little Abner? I'm headed for so far to John Stall. Well, I'll ask for and receive. Five pounds of boiled ham, one spool of thread, number ten white, one can of pineapple, two pounds of cheese, half soles for Pappy's boots, one large jar of Sweet Patootie, one large jar of sour pickle, one bottle of ketchup, one bottle of mustard, one can of pea powder for salome, Two twists of pipe tobacco for my mammy. Then I turns on my heel, takes a feline for home. What a peak hole you're calling today. I said it was all part of John Stone likewise. So likewise, I used to turn on my heel and make a feline back up. Oh. Well, there's no reason why we can't walk together, is there? Ain't no law, Janet. strong to hold on to. Wait hard. I'll see if there's someone strong around. You're strong and you're around. Suppose not does have you. There's nothing romantical about it. We both understand that. Don't we? Yes, little Agnes. Give me your arm. summer sun. Her eyes are only as blue as the sky. Her teeth are no more white or shinier than pearls. As for her cheeks, I can show you plenty of peaches which is almost as soft and pink and white. You thinks love is what I is in love with her. You take that back! Little, little Abner, you're right. She is just an ordinary yarn-haired, blue-eyed, pinky-cheeked gal. Just like you'll say, anybody'd be a fool to be in love with her. Yes, sir, an awful fool. What for you about me? On account of what you done said about Daisy May. Oh, I said what you said. Correct. Only you said as if you meant it. Wait for me, little Abner. I'll walk by myself, thank you. You always getting me talked about.
Gosh! <laughs> Daisy May, I sure powerful glad to see you. Same here, delightful. What for you let him get away? I couldn't help it. I loved him so. What can be wrong? Maybe you need a new technique. Technique? What's that? Oh, that's what you gotta have to get him. Let's see. He's the tall, dark, and ignorant type. A boy like him requires only the crudest technique. It's the uh, you who loves woo. Then do as your conscience tells you. Technique. Sure wish I had some. I'll show you how it's done. Will you? Nothing to it. Hello, Lil Abner. Howdy, Mr. Old Timer. Look at her. She's the most humorous looking gal you ever see. Look at the bugle on her. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. You're too young and innocent to know what she's laughing at. What do you mean, old timer? What's this Sadie Hawkins said? A long time ago, this gal, uh, Sadie Hawkins, lived right here in Dog Pack. For years, she tried to catch herself a husband. She didn't have no luck. Finally, her pappy, who was a mayor, called all the bachelors of Dog Pack together, pulled out his gun, and says, I declare today Sadie Hawkins' day. When I fire my gun, you all can begin a running. After you've got a fair start, Sadie will take out. And the man she catches is going to be her husband. That's how it started. Now, every year when Sadie Hawkins' day rolls around, life ain't safe for any male critter in dog pack. Now, did you get the idea? I'll never be able to understand the technique. Mr. Ladner. As a special favor to you, I'll contact you, little Abner. You'll go hard and watch me work my technique. Can I? But you gotta promise to take him off my hands. After he falls madly in love of me. I'll be so glad to take him off in your hands. Go on, get him. Ignorant than I thought. I gotta use a cruder technique. How are you, little Abner? Morning, Barney Bargree. Nice morning. Show sure is. Sloppy beast, ma'am. Name a little Abner Yoakum. Oh! Don't worry, ma'am. He'll fall in just a minute. I'll give my dog Pat's lullaby, which my mammy teached me. <laughs> they always act like that at first. Why does you reckon he wanted to kiss me? Dog of fun knows him. Can't see no reason for it myself. You can't? I don't know why any intelligent man would want to go kissing a gal. Well, it ain't the kissing our minds, it's the trouble it starts. You kiss a girl and what happens? She gets romantic because she wants more. She follows you day and night and finally your brain weakens and you marries her. She has lots of children. She gets old and gray worrying about them. So your children marries and has children, then you not only got to worry about your children, but about your grandchildren. Your grandchildren has children, and by that time you has the misery and the rheumatism, and pretty soon you dies. That's why I don't like kissing. Oh, little Abner, yo is just my type. Yo ain't romantical, and that's just what I ain't. Is that what yo ain't? Romantical is exactly what I ain't, as you can plainly see. Well, you're with one gal and an awful lot. Sure would be nice, but 
sit in that log and rest if I had some nice fancy boy to talk to. If I sees one, ma'am, I'll be glad to send him back here. Trouble is, most boys get romantical, and I hate that. Naturally. But Joe wouldn't get romantical, would you, Mr. Yoakum? Not me. That's fine. Then we can talk about interesting subjects. Something that ain't romantical. Sure not. Kind of pretty in here with soft wind blowing through the trees, little birds singing, beautiful flowers smelling up the air. You know what it makes me feel like? No, what do it make you feel like? Like discussing educational subjects. For instance, what to do if a skunk gets in your woodshed. You know, skunks is funny little critters. I like discussing educational subjects. And I learn things. What will we discuss? Let's discuss the subject of Eskimos. What's that? People. Would you like to know how Eskimos kiss? No. Oh, they don't kiss the way you think. Put out your hand. That's how Eskimos kiss. Oh, Eskimos is so wonderful. Oh, would you like to know how Eskimos shake hands? Sure would. Shut your eyes. Man, what a technique I got. Little Abner, little Abner, honey, is your hurt? Oh. Get out of sight. My technique is just starting to work. Get. Get. Did you like that, little Abner? Oh, I hated it. I knew kissing to do this. It hurt my head. I'm a going home. You ain't gonna run away after giving me such a nice kiss. Yo kissed me. I didn't kiss yo. Cause if I did, we'd be engaged. That's the code of the hill. Oh, oh my poor head. Oh. Ain't he honorable? I'm going back to Pineapple Junction. These men around here don't make no sense. You sure make sense to me. Fancy, you scrubbing a hide off my back. Might as well quit complaining, Lucifer. It's coming on winter and it's time for your bath. Oh, I'm the most unhappy man. Hi, Lucifer. Morning, Fantastic Brown. Hmm. Don't seem like no time since I gave my Fantastic his spring clean in. Ow! Ow! Tain't human, that's what it is. Get for home. You're next. Ow! Or take no ass dear time for my winter scrubbing. Mammy. All feels damp, Mammy. And powerful hungry. Walker well, always does come noon. Eat yourself a sandwich. That'll keep you faint up. Sure. And don't dare quit till I get through with Pappy. Fishing. 
He's getting his belt and zip. No! <laughs> I'll go tell him I'm here. No! Ben, do you have a little mercy on me? What'd you fix it, little Abner? The oakum starvation prevented. It smells like you got sweet patootie in it. Not only sweet patootie, but I asked also sour pickles. Ham and cheese with ketchup, pineapple, sardines off the can, of course. Two fried eggs left from breakfast, a rash of roast pork, lots of ketchup. Ain't you finished yet, Ben? Oh. I started at the top. <laughs> you see? You're beginning to like it. Oh. Oh, you're me. So looks powerful good. Oh, Maybe it's mustard. Maybe it was right. A little mustard on that picture. Stay right while you eat. Come here, Salome. <laughs> yeah, Salome. Yeah. Might as well quit complaining, Salome. Won't do you no good. What's the matter, little Abner? i got a most peculiar feel. Oh, it must be because my stomach's empty. Mammy! I've got a terrible misery in my stomach. What you put in your sandwich, son? Just a few things and enough catsup and horseradish and mustard to make it tasty. Mustard? You know that stuff ain't agreed with you since the time you ate that mustard plaster when you was a little baby. What Joe needs is a doctor. There ain't no doctor around here. You know that. There'll be one. So, so right here. Are. Dr. Barber will be on the limited when it stops at the county siding for water at noon. And that's right where I'm a go. <laughs> Don't be late for supper, son. <laughs> <laughs> well, there she is. Oh, I wonder where Dr. Barber is at. <laughs> always stretch the old soup bones when you get a chance. That's what I always say. There's a man got on a white coat like doctors has. Maybe that's Dr. Barber. I'll go ask him. You go that away in case it ain't. Joe Barber, that's me. What's in your mind, kid? Can you fix me up? Well, that's a pretty big order. <laughs> that mop looks like a busted mattress. But with my trusty scissors, I can probably fix you up all right. You ain't going to cut me, is you? Hmm? What's the matter with you, boy? I'm sick. Powerful sick. Well, now, what am I supposed to do? Bust out in tears? That'd be mighty sweet of you, but all I want to know is what ails me. Well, sir, <laughs> that's what we'd all like to know. Can't be my appetite, because I just ate a combination ham, cheese, pineapple, sardine, sweet patootie, sour pickle, fried egg, preserved turnip, and roast hog sandwich. Whew! Whoa, with cats of horseradish and mustard, doctor. Doctor, well, uh, can't be your appetite, son. Let me see. <clears throat> doctor, mm -hmm. stick out your tongue. Let me look at that tongue. Stick it way out, way out. That's it. Now, uh, say ah. Oh. Ah, uh, you're flat. Is I? Well, now, <clears throat> just uh, take a good deep breath now. Take a good deep breath. That's it. Now stick your stomach out. Come on, stick it out. Stick it way out. That's it. Now close your eyes. Oh! 
Did you feel a sharp twinge? All aboard. Oh, my boy, that's bad. That's bad. You've got it. You've got it. What is off guard? You've got thrombosis. Thrombosis? Will I die? You're dead now from the neck up. How soon will the rest of me be dead? In 24 hours. I didn't find no Dr. Barber. I did. You did? What'd he say? He told me I was gonna be dead in 24 hours. On account of, I got scrombosis. You don't mean you'll be dead by tomorrow? Dater than a catfish, hate come noon. That's life. They are today, they are tomorrow. Oh, Mammy. How'd you feel it, son? Hot is happy. How's your misery? My stomach feels fine. If only the doctor hadn't told me, I wouldn't know I was going to be dead in 24 hours. Dead? What you mean? Just plain dead. Oh? How is Well, all you got is a pinch of mustard poisoning. You always very comfortable. But I has prepared my mind. Well, son, if you're going to be dead, you're going to be dead. We will be more sad and lonely. Naturally. A daisy may will be more sad, too. Seems to me it ain't fair you're dying. I'm not telling her nothing about it. Those key wreck, Mammy. All that tells her I love her. Uh, I means that I uh, dislikes less than the other gal. What must I do, Mammy? You could marry up with her. I uh, could. Now that I'm going to be dead. Uh, son, your, your time's getting mighty short. I'm going to make love to her like she always wanted me to. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, shut your face. Here, Hannibal. You follow little Abner. Does he do anything peculiar? Come back here and tell me. Well, Mrs. Jacob, he might... Uh... He won't just do as I tell him. Yes, sir. <laughs> little Abner ain't going to be dead in 24 hours. He's going to be married with Daisy May. He is? <laughs> Happy, you is the most ignorant critter I ever did. <laughs> no. Uh. Well, I must say you hold your age pretty well. But you is a tempting fate. I know. It's getting along. Well, you better catch yourself a man this city hawking day, for you won't be able to run fast enough next year to catch one. I don't want just any man. I want Lavender. Kindly step out, you are with me. Yes, of course I will. Oh, I was just telling you. Our aim is to make love. Uh, Your powerful, romantical love. We were just talking. Huh? What you say? I'm going to make love to you. Powerful, romantical love. Let's go. Yeah. The sharp place looks romantical enough. No. Sit down. Uh, now aims to commence making love to you. Dog patch style? Dog patch style. I was ready. I've been ready for y'all. wants to tell me I was your sweet patootie blossom. You wants to tell me you loves me. That you just can't live without me. Oh, 
little Abner, that's just exactly what I want to hear you say. Because love is what I do love with you. Don't do that. I can't stand it. It's awful. Is it so awful just to have me near you, little Abner? It makes me feel miserable. When I feel miserable, I was the most unhappy man. I don't want to make you unhappy, little Abner. Shanks. Daisy May. Yes, little Abner. Come back, y'all. Yes, little Abner. This ain't the way I planned it. Sit down. Shut your eyes. Congratulations. You, you landed him. Will you wear your uh, pink cheese off or your white muslin with the make-believe sweet patootie blossom? I reckon I'll wear the pink with the white sweet patootie veil. Does you think that'll look pretty, little Abner? Sure will. You aiming to go to a party? Yeah, a wedding party. Oh, very unfortunate. Well, who's it getting married? You and her, naturally. <laughs> Me and her? Yep, you and her. I didn't say nothing about oh, no getting married. I wanted to make her happy, so I kissed her. That's all. That's enough. The boys around here don't kiss gals until the day before they get married. And today's the day before you get married. That's the code of the hills. <laughs> Specs and salutes the code of the hills. I love the code of the hills. <laughs> Abner, huh? you can't get married tomorrow noon. I got it. It's the code of the hills. But you'll be dead. And if I'm dead, I can't be married. Oh, happy tomorrow noon. I also got things to do. Here I am, knowing all about my future, and doing nothing about my mammies and my poor pappies. You know, it's most kind and considerate to be thinking of them at a time like this. You see this paper? Go, oh, I ain't buying. That's the Magoon reward. I'm going to Skunk Hollow. There I aims to call briefly on Earthquake Magoon. That's what I aims to do. Little Abner. Do we do anything peculiar? I go to little Abner's mammy and I tell her. Smells a live dog patcher. How you know he's a dog patcher? Because he don't smell. <laughs> Will you quit painting and open that safe? I only brung you along because you're the cashier. Yes, 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 sir, Mr. Magoo. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a, a bit nervous. <laughs> Earthquake 
doing opera zoom. I was here to take it to the sheriff, for our aims to collect the $25 reward. <clears throat> That's most interesting. This are gifts to my sweet mammy and pappy, which they will use to live most comfortably the rest of their natural lives in dog pads. Is you all from dog patch? Naturally. Does you all know that you's about to be dead? Goon's <laughs> got a live hey, I'll catch up there. <laughs> Wildcat. Oh, so is. Gal, do you know another way out of here? Them skunk hollers have got me trapped. And of course, your wish is to get out. Naturally, don't you? If I goes out, I'll have to marry up with my goon. And he sure ain't my ideal. Does you show me another way out of here? I'll help you locate your ideal. I will be most delighted to help you. Does you keep your garden and bring me my ideal? Which is you, the lad. I'll do anything you say. I'll... Does... Oh, me marry up with you? That's exactly what I mean. Oh, no, man. I just couldn't. Just a minute. When must I marry up with you? Tomorrow at noon. And not before? Exactly at noon. I'll be yours tomorrow at noon. 
no matter what shape I was in. Come on, pick up your bundles and follow me. So now. This way. It's $23, $24, and $25. There you is, little Abner. Oh, thank you most kindly. Who oh, has relieved the county of public poll cap number one. And further, Mr. Yoakum, you have saved all of the bank money and my life. There. You're always most kind. Who be careful? It's a ten center. I will guard it very tenderly. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sheriff. Goodbye. Poor Anderson, little happy. I'm going to give you this enormous fortune. If it don't look just like a do around dog pads. Cornelius Cornpaw. And only yesterday I seen him a going turkey hunt. <coughs> Cornelius Cornpaw. Who is that? Is that your little Abner? Sure is. Howdy. Cornelius Cornport, I never thought you would make it. <laughs> uh, but your show is an angel. Uh, uh, you really think so? I sure do. Tell me, Cornelius, does you like it up here? Yeah, I, I think it's fine. Cornelius, does a uh, feature good? You know, does you get preserved uh, turnips and, and pork chops, maybe? Well, yeah, of course I does. Oh, gosh, that's most encouraging. Well, i got to be walking along. Is you all going to walk? Yeah, sure. Confounded idiot. He walks. And with a pair of wings like that. But I ain't no chump. I'm gonna fly. Hey! Don't, don't, don't! <laughs> I guess I ain't been dead long enough for him to sprout. What's the matter with your boy? Cornelius, what's the matter with you? <laughs> Where are your wings? Stop it, stop it, stop it! Are you crazy? Oh, you're just trying to kill yourself. I can't kill myself, because huh? I was already dead. Oh, oh is I? <laughs> Look, 
You're the livest looking yokum I ever seen. Oh, I just gotta be dead. On account of I done promised to marry up with two different gals come noon. Oh, what must I do? Mammy, I'm gonna fly home and... Somebody's got to help me. All I can do is just give you a hint. What is it, Mammy? It's safer to be a hound dog than a rabbit. What you mean, Pansy? Yeah. That's all I can tell you. Safer to be a hound dog than a rabbit. Ah, quit your worrying, son. I washed your nice, clean shirt for Sadie Hawkins' celebration tonight. Go on, go and have a lot of fun. Safe for a hound dog and a rabbit. <laughs> Go in. 
can say. Oh! Well, Abner, tomorrow we was liable to be bachelors no more. Lander, sure wouldn't mind to have this dance with you. Hold on, Taylor Joe. You had your share. The Lambner, I wish you to dance with you. Oh, I don't want to dance. Don't make no difference. Who'll say you got him? That's right. safer to be a hound dog than a rabbit. Your riddle is simple. On account it's safer to chase than to be chased. Chase. Be chased. How did it now? Oh, happy Sadie Hawkins Day. in this yard, Daisy May. Hello? Ah! It's 
Mr. Earthquake. What do you want, little man? Uh, I would like to make a business call on you. What business a little skunk like you got with me? Ah, please hold your horses. <laughs> First, I want you to keep your windy wildcat from marrying Miss Parcel Little Ab. Does she catch him in the race? I met your son. Does you give me that bar? I'll guarantee you'll never see Wendy Wildcat again. I uh, know. You promise on your honor? I promise. Yup, it's high noon. Clear the car. Now everybody understands the rule. When I fire the gun the first time, the bat voice takes off. Two minutes later, I fire the gun the second time, and the gals takes off. Any bachelor that gets catched has got to ask the gal to marry with him. Yeah, all you got to remember is to bring your man to me, sir. And I guarantee to give you the finest wedding. That's all. Everybody get ready. On your mark. All ready. Get set. chance with me. Go get him, Wendy. We for you. Ready? Already? Get on your mark.
you, Terry. You catch a polecat, far and square. You miserable critter, you! Thank you. 